Hey guys and welcome back to another thumbnail tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make those uh, MI boxing thumbnails, you know, the ones that the YouTubers set each other against each other and are like, um, I'm going to fight them or not, you know. Now I'm a bit late on this trend, sorry for that, but I still wanted to show you how they make this. Because not only the YouTubers did it, but also like the big fighters, so if there's a match, there's the same kind of... Uh, images that they put on TV and everything and I find I thought it was pretty interesting to show you how it's done So then today I'm going to show you uh, using the examples of KSI and Logan Paul I uh, thought was to be the best um, Example I just I just went for it. So what I'm gonna do basically um, I'm gonna go to new of course I'm gonna take the size of every video um, Because this is a thumbnail and the thumbnails always have the same size as videos So as a video and a thumbnail you want the width and the height to be at 90 20 so 1920 by 1080 pixels, be sure some pixels. Color, I would recommend RGB, put the background at white at the moment because we're going to put some images on it. So transparent is not a really good idea and uh, yeah, I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to zoom out obviously one time. Uh, probably just want to uh, unlock this as a layer, it doesn't really matter. And actually to start off, I actually have prepared the images. So the first image is uh, a boxing ring. It's just a pretty random one. I have the images right here. I'm just gonna put these two facing each other and I'm gonna put fair verses in the middle. You, you've probably seen the thumbnail. So to start off, I'm gonna put this one here. Um, this is, a, I don't know, it's a pretty random one um, that I actually found, but it's a nice boxing ring I thought would be a good idea. Cause like what they do is they just put it a purple background or a little bit of a texture kind of thing and then blue uh, over it. But I thought it could be a good idea and just nice to show you also with and a yeah, boxing ring, for example. So I'm going to click OK. And now this is not really in the middle. I kind of want this to have be in the middle. So let me see where the middle is. So it's there. So I should move it um, a little bit more, actually. Just Yeah, I just kind of want it to be in the middle, actually. You know, just um, it makes more, it's beautiful, it looks better. And yeah, it's just, it's just nicer in general. Let's see where's the middle now. Uh, it's there. Okay, so something like this would be good. Yeah, there we go. That's that's good in the middle. I like that. So now that we have this image in the middle, I'm actually gonna do something, and I'm gonna see if it looks good. So first of all, I'm gonna take this here. I'm gonna go over to the rectangle tool, and I'm, I'm gonna be sure it's on purple, something like that. In any case, this is the color that comes closest to the color they use in most of these thumbnails. So I'm gonna put this over. I'm just gonna click this here, and just be sure that it's a little bit just enough over it and just placed in the middle like something yeah, it doesn't have to be exact in the middle just somewhere that it takes off the whole image it doesn't really matter and now the next thing i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna see how it looks if i multiply it on this wallpaper now what does it mean so i'm gonna show you right here if you go down here be sure it's selected on the rectangle itself you go to normal and you actually click on multiply now that will make this the blue color just overlaps the image and look really nice as you can see i really like this effect it's just, it's just really nice, man. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. But anyway, um, you take the image right here, and I just, as you can see, if I take away the blue for a second, you can see this is still in color. And I personally prefer most of the time when I change this to black and white. So I'm gonna see if it looks better. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, it looks quite better. The details are more there. There's more lightning. So as you can see, I put it on black and white now, and it, it looks better. I'm gonna mess a little bit with. Two adjustments here, which is brightness and contrast, and also curves. That is that is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna start with the brightness slash contrast. Gonna put the brightness somewhat what up, you know, because you want to see what's happening in the background, but not too much. You can see uh, contrast really depends. It can be like this looks epic, like this looks kind of flat, but you can see more details. So it's kind of hard. Let's just let's just see from distance. Now, that looks pretty nice, but I don't know. I like both. I like this one as well. It's it's really epic looking. So I'm gonna put this at 85, something like that. That's a little bit too. Let's do not too much, not too less. I would say yeah, something around 80 will be good. Yeah, it's more than fine. It's no problem there. And then we're gonna play with the most important thing is the curve. Um, the curve will really affect that uh, that nice. You know, can make it bright like this. No, don't really need it to make the middle pretty bright. But I kind of like it as well. <laughs> We can keep it for the moment. Now we're going to go over to some more important things. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take both names and I'm going to do the versus thing, you know. Let's say 50 to start off. 50. But yeah, Logan Paul, we will have to do it in two times. Otherwise, it will take off the whole image and we don't want that. So I'm going to do Logan. Yeah, let's do it in white because I can't see anything like this. And another font, actually. Um, what is the best font? I want... There's a font that we need that is actually kind of fat, but also good looking. I think... I like this one, I believe. Was it this one or this one? Go for this one, let's see. Logan. 
it's underneath uh, the blue thing, wait. But I like this font, this is a good font, we're gonna use it. Okay, can we put it right here? There we go, Logan in the white uh, f uh, color, that's good. So I'm gonna say Logan Paul, gonna keep it at this side for the moment. I'm gonna see the size later if I need to uh, change anything. I'm gonna say Logan Paul, there we go. Gonna make Paul as big as uh, Logan, because that looks, that looks best, looks good. This also looks good, but um, I also like this here. So let me just make it as big as Logan. Uh, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna have to see how much actually we will need. Um, let's see, let's put it like right there. Oh yeah, I think this is perfect by the way. I can see it right here. So this is good, I, I like it. I'm gonna put it somewhere. Yeah, just like this. Kinda close to each other, but not too close. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I'm gonna take these two. I'm gonna cl hold control, click the, both these here. I'm gonna move it up a little bit. Now we're gonna do actually pretty simple. We're gonna add another rectangle, but this time around, just one that we're gonna put something like this. Yes, okay. And I'm gonna put in here, first of all, change the color. A bright blue, but not too bright, actually. Uh, not too bright. And he doesn't immediately show the changes. That's it's not really nice. Really nice, but uh, I think... Purple will look good as well. Yeah, I think it will look dope actually. If I use also purple, purplish as something. Uh, but let's put it like kind of dark. Um, yeah, yeah nah, it will be nice. The rectangle is it. So I'm going to take the rectangle. I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it. Yeah, the same size of Logan Paul name. So pretty much like the N. There we go. And I think the square is also the good size the only thing we have to put in here is versus so vs just click this um text versus gonna put this in black though because although yeah because that will be better and we can distinguish distinguish uh the two things so i'm actually gonna put this um where was it the most important thing is it's in the middle so this is the exact middle yeah, then it's time to put KSI. So same font, uh, but then this time, of course, gonna change the size because KSI is one word. I'm gonna put it in white, actually. White. And um, what we're gonna have to do is to put this as big as Logan and Paul and the, um, the shape. So let me see. Uh, that's somewhere around here. As you can see, we still have... Um, some place to do this uh let me see uh it's hard to tell at some point yes yes it's nice it also really matches with the verses now let's see if i can see the change i mean the the distance between them so i'm gonna try to take them both yes and as you can see i hope it's yeah there we go as you can see it shows the same distance between ksi and the rectangle and logan paul and the rectangle is exactly what i wanted so there we go, now we have a really nice, yeah, the middle thing actually. So this already looks pretty nice, I'm actually gonna make a group out of it, I'm gonna show you how. So I want to click all of the things I used here, so I used Logan, I used Paul, Rectangle, Versus, and KSI. I'm gonna click Control, I'm gonna hold Control, click G, it's gonna make a group. I'm gonna call that group, um, I don't know, it really doesn't have to have any purpose. Fight text, just for me to know what I'm moving, you know. There we go. So now actually just put it in the middle. I can just take the whole thing now and see what is the middle. There we go. That's the middle. Really nice. As you can see, we have our first part here. I think it looks quite nice. See from distance. Yeah, I really liked it. It looks dope. It looks dope. Now actually what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do the pretty much harder part and the more annoying part to be honest. I'm going to put these two here. I'm going to put them versus. So first things that I first thing that I can see is that are too big. Because the last thing we want, and yeah, what we can't do actually, is that it, want, it overlaps the text, you know. So we can only put Logan until somewhere over here. So we're gonna have to make him smaller. Yeah, I mean this 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 part doesn't have to be on the thumbnail, you know. It's really his face, but we have to have his face, of course. That's logic. So let me see where we are at some point. Um, so it's gonna stop somewhere over here. Oh, I hold Control Alt Click Z, and I can do back. But what I wanted to see is uh, it's approximately gonna stop right here. Basically, we have the image right now. I'm gonna have to cut them out uh, of the image. Just gonna zoom one time in, makes it easier. Don't worry, I will show you how it's done, and then I'm gonna speed up the process. You don't have to see it how I'm doing it all the way. So um, let me see. Just put it like this. 
this i'm gonna move it a little bit lower right here i'm gonna take this tool here it's the pen tool be sure it's on path and um yeah let's just put some dots so i'm actually gonna take this with me the the part of his shirt right here even though i'm gonna cut it out probably i just want to be sure i got all the things i need for the image so that i have his whole uh yeah upper body to actually see what i can do with it so be sure to only take skin not nothing of the whole white um what's it called yeah the white background actually gonna cheat a little bit here i'm gonna skip the hairs that he has underneath his ear <laughs> yeah i'm gonna i mean it's 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 uh, he has he has nice hair pretty much but i mean to cut this out it's it's a hell man um let me see i'm gonna do this just gonna take some as, as long as you take hair at this point you know you don't have to do every little little here that is, is, is exaggerated but be sure you take some of the outcoming points otherwise it wouldn't look good you know but yeah i will see you guys in a second as i'm done with this Okay, so I made a selection out of it. And let's now just um, actually go to select here. We go to inverse. I'm gonna click, let's see, here we go here. I'm gonna click rasterize layer. And now I can just do backspace and I can cut them out. So as you can, as you can see, I also gave him a little bit of a new haircut here. I believe it looks really much like his recent haircut, but uh, yeah, that's, I don't know, it's nice. It doesn't really matter for the rest. So I'm gonna deselect him. Of course, we're gonna not gonna keep it like this because it looks bad. Okay, so I'm gonna put it something like this. Now, first of all, I'm gonna make some little corrections here and there. Because, yeah, obviously this doesn't really work. And then I'm gonna, yeah, make it look better. So first of all, I'm gonna go down a little bit slightly like this. Let's see how that looks. I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna go here again, selection. Don't have to rasterize the layer now because we actually did it already. There you go. I think it will just look better like this. Selection. There we go. Deselect. And I think that's good. Gonna be sure um, they are underneath the text actually. So underneath fight text. There we go. Yes. Just gonna use the gum tool for that I guess. Um, be sure it's on hardness to zero. Not too much because otherwise you'll see that it's done like this. So yeah. Let me actually just cut off that. Let me actually use this. For that. I'm just gonna put it like this. Take off just the hard, the the darker parts of his hair. Just be sure we take everything. Gonna do it like this. There we go. Just yeah, just cut it off right now. Actually, <laughs> gonna be like this. Selection. Take it off. Bam. Deselect. Can zoom it out actually now. Now I don't, I really have to make some really quick changes here then in that case. Let me just show you which changes I need to do. Okay, so I'm going to put that hardness to zero. And I'm going to make it a little bit smoother, you know, because this is squarish and we don't want that. I want it to be more smoother, something like this. And we just want to be sure it looks good, so that's the main thing here. It doesn't really matter for the rest, it was just pretty hard to cut them out correctly. But I'm going to keep it at this, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on black and white. I'm going to click on... Adjustments again, brightness, and curve. And now that I have these three things, I'm gonna take this, just click this one, click this one also, hold control, and this one. What I'm gonna do now is gonna click, create clipping mask, and now it will only affect, so these three effects will only affect uh, Logan Paul in this case. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the brightness not too much up, we're gonna put it down actually pretty much uh, to 50 for the moment. I'm gonna see the contrast. Yeah. Oh yeah, we want the contrast to be down and watch a lot. Yeah. Let's do a good 95 in the contrast. I like that. So now I'm gonna do the curve. So yeah, that's what we want. That looks really good. Oh, that that's that's just epic. Okay, but I want to put the brightness a little bit up then in that case. Just a little bit. Doesn't have to be a lot. There we go. Now, as you can see, it was pretty quick and it looks dope. Really dope, actually. This kind of part bothers me. It's done with that, that erase tool, but I don't... I mean, it's useful in some cases, but I don't really like it. Sometimes like this. Uh, I'm not. I'm doing the effects. I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna have to click on him. Of course, this gonna help any. Because yeah, actually, I liked it more when I did the, the erase tool thing. Let me just quickly change that. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna cut out this white part. There we go. Selection. Okay. Delete. Deselect. Gonna start the song over again here. There we go. 
put it down pretty much all the way like this up here there we go like this selection okay and delete again okay now well, this should be better yeah i like it more like this there we go i really want this to go away like right here selection click okay delete this select bam there we go i really much like that more that's nice that's actually really nice so i'm gonna put i'm gonna place it go place ksi there we go um that's something it's something good and not really i mean the size is good i mean i can change them what we want actually first thing now is that i want to have uh the same size of heads and upper body you know because yeah that's that's really important to actually have that similarity now they don't of course have the same head but still it has to be the same um yeah kind of the same size actually to be honest now i can't really take it over because yeah it's, it's not cut out yet so we can actually eventually look what it did but i want to look at their upper bodies and um oh uh, yeah i think this is good it looks good to me so let's see now i'm gonna put the their necks at the same level and yeah i mean look there's some some similarity in the necks so i think that like this Oh, but his, his hair is going to be pretty hard too. Now nah, it's actually going to be doable. Yeah, it's going to be doable. Yeah, yeah, his hair is going to be doable. But yeah, I think it's good. It's good. I'm not going to complain too much about him. Also want to be a hair pretty similar to Logan Paul's. I think that's good right this. So I'm going to take it like this. I like it. It looks good. So now I'm going to actually just, yeah, cut out the same story. I'm going to show you a little bit in the beginning. Then I'm going to speed up the process. That should work. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I'm going to cut it out a little bit, going to put the first dots here. Of course, as I said, pencil, pen tool and uh, the path. So be sure you don't take the white so you can put a little bit safe and just go a little bit more on his uh, shirt so that you don't take with you the white. So it doesn't matter if it's not really correct then, you know. Going to put here, he has a little bit of a beard. I guess we can kind of diss that a little bit. Something like this, going to take his ears. It's pretty much not really visible now. I guess, yes, yeah, it's doable. It's, yeah, yeah, this is doable. Okay, he's bandana. Uh, put right here, right here. Okay, there we go. It did actually take more time than uh, Logan Paul to do, but that doesn't really matter. Um, I got it right now, so I'm gonna have to probably make some little corrections. So it doesn't really matter um, what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna do the same story. I'm gonna inverse it, so it will take off the background. I'm gonna be sure that I rasterize the layer. Okay, I'm gonna click backspace. There we go. Deselect. And now I'm gonna be sure that I take off all of the white dots gonna go right here I'm just gonna do it kind of fast just take off um, take off the rest of these things I guess this one <laughs> okay this one is weird but I think it will work just take the little thing here it's bothering me could have done that with the gum actually yeah for the rest um, some hairs that actually just go off too much so like this one so yeah it did indeed take some more time to do KSI uh, his hair but yeah this does definitely is gonna help me yeah uh, Take off a little bit and uh, probably make some better parts of it. Um, I guess something like this. Just with some little changes. You'll see it is just going to look fine. Just make it a little bit more pointy here. Doesn't have to be done a lot. It's like this. There we go. Click delete, deselect. Okay, we should be good for now. Let's see. So I'm also going to do the changes for KSI actually. So I'm going to do also the adjustments in the curve. Um, let me see. Going to take these three. 
can be sure they are create clipping masks so they only affect KSI. Um, first of all, brightness. What did I do? Brightness for um, for my minus 32. I'm gonna have to see that for KSI because I believe it's slightly different. The image was already in black and white, so let me just see this. Um, the same things. I think this is good. This is way, way lower than uh, Logan Paul, actually. Oh yeah, this one had to be pretty much up. So let's say 80. Um, let's, we want a bit of it. Uh, I think 70. And then yeah, this has to be uh, like this. Yeah, it definitely has to be. It's definitely another setting for KSI. So yeah, we are around minus 100 here. But I also have to add the curve, so it might get some changes. Yeah, you see, I'm gonna have to put the brightness a little bit, a little bit back. There we go, something like this. Also something like this. I kind of like to be at like around 92. Yeah, it's gonna keep it like Logan Paul 95, something like that. I think it looks dope. Uh, like this. These are just details, guys, but I really like those details here that we change. Should be good. Bam. I wasn't actually really necessary to take it away, actually, in the end. This part and the, his part, but I, I, I think it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna... There we go. Wait, I'm gonna probably have to rasterize it. Oh, it's already rasterized it, but this is Logan. <laughs> so there we go. This select. And yeah, there we go. I mean, well, I'm gonna put it like this. Wait, bam. It's gonna look nicer. Also for Logan Paul, it's gonna look nicer. There we go, select and backspace. And this select again, okay. Now there we go guys. I think that I don't have to explain it anymore. This is pretty much how you make these kind of thumbnails. I might have might just made this one a little bit uh, tinier. I actually do it right now. So I'm going to click on the, gl uh, the group fry text and let's put this down at 95 and uh, 96. Let's do 96. I'm going to put it in the middle again. Click OK. Let's see if it changed in a good way or not. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. OK, so I'm going to keep it like this. Don't have to add anything more. Um, this is how you do it. Take some time. It's not the easiest thing to do. You're going to have to put some time in it. But uh, yeah, you can actually, as you can see, also take yourself and I don't know, fight another YouTuber, you know, a friend or something. You can also do that. Um, be sure you can follow this tutorial with it. As you can see, it's not the hardest thing to do. Uh, it just takes some time. And uh, yeah, if you don't really know how to do something, just watch back this video at some point. And then you can also see how to make, uh, yeah, how to change something of how to actually make it look better or anything like that. So I really hope you liked this video. It was a pretty long one. I hope you enjoyed it until the end. If you did, please leave a like. It would be really nice. Also really nice that you looked until the end. Uh, subscribe would also be really nice. And uh, I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye.